Hello everybody, my name is Trailmaker, and I want to share with you my map idea for Wargame Red Dragon. I have constructed this map using the StarCraft II map editing tool, and I have modeled it after the uh, Bijang Ku Reservoir, which is just northwest of Jiangjing in China. And historical note, it's a very important area. It services water to all the cities. And this province in general was actually a, a very difficult point for the Japanese to conquer. The Chinese actually pushed them back with the British and the French, of course, five times during World War II. So this is going to have a, a very uh, old feeling. So with this map design, we're going to start off uh, being very NATO-centric. And of course, starting basically five points. I don't want to have too much jungle in the back. I want to have just a little bit, not too much, because in Wargame Airland Battle, what people were doing was sticking their commands in forested areas for hours, and they were unfindable. So we don't want too much forested area in the back. As you advance forward, there's a three-point base, and these little assimilators here aren't actually assimilators at all. In fact, they are towns that we put down here. And as we put these towns down, we're just putting a few, not too many. Each crossroad will get a town, and there will be one inside this area here. And this will be a sieging full one for this NATO base here. Uh, just kind of how I'm thinking about this. I put a three-point base here. This is what we call the, um, the, the coward's base. This is the base that you will take if you can't get the big prize. And the big prize in this one will be this middle four-point base. Now, this... Templar Archives here isn't going to be a Templar Archives at all, but hopefully when the dev team get to look at this, this will be the uh, Zhengqing Mud Palace, which of course is actually at this reservoir and would be at this bridge here. Now, four point base is awesome. And, you know, there's an assimilator here. This will basically work like a town. Same thing, same exact concept, word for word. Um, and the other side will be completely mirrored, has the exact same thing there. Now, when we're going in this northern flank, I put this forest here because I wanted a way for the opponent to siege this area here in the instance that they're doing very, very well. Once again, both players have that forest in near locations. And as you advance, you'll note there's a mountain here, and this mountain will block visibility from the future. That's great, because you're going to take this five-point naval reinforcement base. Now, this base here will not be able to reinforce naval units. This one, however, will. This one controls the bridge, basically. It makes it so that units can slide through here into this area and fight. Interestingly enough, uh, the person who controls the four-point base also controls that bridge activator. And so only upon controlling these bases can a, a boat cross underneath them. This means that if you're going to have any kind of an amphibious landing or you want to control this four-point base, also controlling one of these one-point naval reinforcement bases may be important to your general overall strategy. Now, a little bit of jungle here as well to block off from any kind of super long-range distance attacks from helicopters and whatnot. And from here, you also have a normal reinforcement point, so you can go across this bridge. There is a town greeting that the enemy can use to try and defend this bridge location. Alternatively, you can try and use this as an ambush location if the enemy tries to attack you. And once again, same kind of stuff. We have a crossroads here, which has a town in it, which you can take, or the enemy can take in defense of. And this also provides a flanking position to this middle location, an attack to the five-point base, or an attack to the three-point base. So when you're defending this location, from this advance here, taking this town and maintaining it will be very, very important. Final little bit to note will be the, from this perspective, we're going across this way. There's not too much here. Lots of great open spaces for tank battles here. And as we move in, there's once again a nice little place to defend this advance here. Forced in this location, which can be occupied by either player, but will be used very well defensively. And I actually intended to put a, uh, or did I? No, I didn't. That's how it's intended to be. And once again, mountain blocking here. So if you have your gunships coming in this way, they won't be able to just pick off units along this coast. They'll actually have to come in here, 
pick up units here. They can defend all along this blank here. And they can try to attack in here if they have a spotter that can get across this bridge. So it's a very simple map design. Uses moderate amounts of amphibious concepts. But I think the idea of this one point naval base will work out very, very well for the game. That's my concept for a war game airland battle. Thank you guys for joining me.